All right, Mark Lobliner. And I just came from work and drank a pre-workout because I'm beat to shit. Anyway. Best way um, to do it, man. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Because right after this, I'm going to the gym. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I uh, Take up all you want. I got an hour booked out, and then I got to go coach some youth football. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. So um, before we get into you and me, uh, I want to, you've been doing this a long time, 2011. You were one of the first Dude. guys. Yeah. You were one of the first guys to do it. And I wish I would have did it earlier, you know, because that was before the YouTube wave, you guys like, kind of like were able to establish a lot easier after the YouTube wave kick kicked in. Right. Uh, right. Um, so the, the original guys are like you, Nick strength and power, RX muscle, for some reason, muscular development tried. It never really took off. I don't know why. Actually, the, the first were Scooby, Hodge Twins, and Louis Marco. Uh, like, those yeah. are the first ones. And um, what's his face? Uh, why am I blanking? The Natty guy. Oh, Good-looking guy. I'm trying to think of his name. Yeah, Louis but Marco yeah, disappeared, and the Hodge Twins actually went into politics. So the Hodge Twins are crushing it. They're, dude, they're so big, they're giving away trucks. Like, yeah, those yeah, guys, yeah. they found their lane, and boy, are they crushing it, man. I, I'm so, I love those guys. Yeah, they're 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 funny. They definitely bring entertainment. Yeah. So uh, so last week, uh, you didn't really have a, a good week as far as social media. Everybody was jumping I on you. Had a great week. No, no, it was a great week. A lot of people were on my side. Really? I thought it was great. Yeah, it was fantastic. I mean, right, that's so what social media is. I mean, social I media, and this is what brings attention to it. You know, you have beefs. You air it out there, and a lot of guys, like my best friend Alan Roberts, we 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 became best friends because he roasted me and. We went back and forth, and now he's my best friend in the whole wide world, man. It's the greatest. Yeah. So um, I wouldn't say it was a bad week at all. No, it was a great week. A great week. Great. See, social media isn't my life. Like, I do it. It's fun. It's a small part of what I do on a daily basis, man. I'm, I'm buried in spreadsheets all day. This is fun. I don't get offended by by anything, and it's 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 fine. It doesn't offend me if, uh, if some guys used to follow Genova make fun of my religion. It doesn't bother me. Your religion? What do you mean? Well, they do the Jew thing. Jew liner, pocket liner. That doesn't bother me. Oh, I didn't even know you were Jewish. Ow, my fucking nuts. I, Sorry, dude. Uh, anyway. We're already getting into balls. I like it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you you got to at least give the fact that you have an established YouTube uh, channel that oh, that helped oh, your yeah. success, Absol right? I mean, uh, you can't just absolutely. say it's just the fun. It definitely helped your way to go where you, were, kind of where you are well, now. Well, think about YouTube, man. It's it's a platform that allows you to make money off of YouTube while promoting other things that make money. Mm -hmm. It just makes sense. I, I think it was Gary V who said it's a free platform. Even if you have five followers, you're an idiot if you don't take advantage of these, you know, marketing opportunities. These cost thousands in CPMs, which cost per thousands of impressions. When I could do it, and Google pays me rather than me paying Google. But of course, our brands, you know, also run a lot of Google ads between all the brands and everything. So. So I understand how the system works, but absolutely, it's a part of who I am and why I'm known in the fitness world. But remember, before that, I owned a company called Cyvation, and you know we got to over eight figures before social media was even a thing. So I'm also a guy who, who's not afraid to get in a Toyota Corolla and drive cross country, slanging supplements. So, I mean, social media came in after I already established myself in the industry. So, again, like I was already managing a CEO and owner of a large company before social media. So it's not like I was, you know, just a guy off the street and I'm like, Hey, I'm going to say boom on camera and have a YouTube channel. It started yeah. out me just doing product reviews. Cause YouTube bought Google. If you're, or, I'm sorry, Google bought YouTube and YouTube essentially became Google a video. So that's when my business partner, Chad Vordameshi was like, dude, you got to do YouTube videos. I'm like, dude, I don't want to be on camera. So I did an Oxy elite pro review and it, it really hit off well. People viewed it. People liked it. It explained a lot of things. It was filmed at the time on, a, I believe, a potato. And it looked terrible. It sounded terrible. The background was terrible. But, you know, that's how I started it. I was never intended. I didn't ever expect to be anything on social media. So the fact that anybody watches my BS is pretty cool. Well, yeah, I mean, you're, you're playing it humble. You have 412 subscribers. I don't know why you're playing it humble. You have a 412,000 subscribers. So, you know, this is a lot bigger. I'm just a guy, dude. Yeah, but I you're mean, you're all right. Let's 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 not do the passive aggressive thing here. I mean, you you are one of the biggest bodybuilding platforms, okay? In the bodybuilding world, you're one of the biggest. So let's it's not, not passive aggressive. That's just being honest. You know, 
I mean, dude, what is it? Um, Mike Gisretel gets like 80,000 views in two minutes. Like that is a, pl that is a platform. Right. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm just a, I'm just one of many of my size. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Let's not overinflate it. And frankly, you all know, right. So if that's works, the, if that's, if that's the case, then let's just get into you and me then. If, if, if you're, if you're, <clears throat> if you're taking the stance that you're just a regular dude, then I am a regular dude. Why, when I, uh, contacted you three years ago why did you uh respond so disrespectfully toward me i don't think it was disrespectful i just uh, was completely no you didn't tell me this i'll read it okay so yeah read it read it because okay. because that's uh, that's cool read it yeah i am okay and i'll explain uh, the situation so and why i said what i said here's me <clears throat> dear sir i started a pod this is uh, june 2nd 2021 and I, I will explain why I kept it. I said it in my live feed, but I'll explain why I kept it. First of all, I kept it as fuel to keep going because you like basically <clears throat> shit on me. So I'm like, in my head, I'm going, oh, this fucker is shitting on me. He doesn't, in a few years, I'm going to be relevant. And sooner or later, we're going to cross paths. So I used it as fuel. And sooner or later, I knew this was going to happen. Uh, dear sir, uh, I started a podcast slash YouTube channel about a year ago. I cover the power sports, bodybuilding, powerlifting, and arm wrestling. I also cover the Manosphere. I was hoping we'd have time to do a collaboration. I'm basically asking you to help me, plus think about paying it forward. Plus, I'd love to pick your brain on how to grow your channel, my channel, sorry. Please write me back. I will include the link to my channel. Thank you, John Livia. I sent you the link. You wrote what kind of collab? <clears throat> I wrote, I'm a huge bodybuilding fan, so we can do a preview to the Chicago Pro. If that works for you, <clears throat> you said a what? As if you don't know what a collab is. I said the Chicago Pro is uh, July 24th. We can do a preview and a prediction week, uh, two weeks before, unless you have something else, I'm open. And your response was, that sounds uninteresting. And I have no idea who's even competing. I don't do the whole bodybuilding prediction thing. Mm -hmm. I wrote back, would you consider me interviewing you? You could advertise your products. I know that was a joke because I wasn't even close to being your size, but uh, not sure how uh, that would help. Uh, I can't sure, not sure how that much uh, how would that would do okay. much sorry yeah and and, and I <laughs> apologize it could have been a day and again no excuses I could have been better explained articulated that better so at the time I was going through an acquisition which was extremely time consuming and I had been going on a lot of smaller podcasts I believe have you seen uh, the underdog podcast I went on his a bunch of others and my time was of the my time was really <laughs> crazy low and I was also coaching sports. I believe I was coaching high school at the time and I just didn't have enough time. So my wife and my partners told me, Hey, you got to really, you know, focus on this acquisition, which was taking six to eight hours a day. So that could be my, again, I wouldn't answer that DM at this place in time with that kind of brevity. And for that, I apologize. See, but, everybody has a reason as to why okay. they act like a prick, but it's not justifiable. I'm explaining this. I understand okay. you're explaining it, but you know, the idea that you were going through something, you could just say, oh, I don't, dude, I don't have time right now. Maybe another time. I don't, think that was a I, don't, I don't think that was a prick. That was me saying, I don't know much about bodybuilding at the time. I wasn't following it. I had no idea who was competing. And to interview me was like, okay, that'll waste both yours and my time at the time. And that, again, that would waste, that would waste my time. Dude. You were, you are one of the largest bodybuilding channels on YouTube. That would have that would wouldn't have been a waste of my time at oh, the time to get Mark, agree, to, to, at the time to get Mark Lobeliner on for an interview, which is what I was trying to do. Would have been yeah. huge for me. I, so let's, I agree. it wouldn't have been a waste. Of, I agree, but but would have been a waste time, of your time, not my time. And which time I did not have at the time because my focus is on my businesses and my family. So I had to really focus on that. I'm sorry for not articulating that. It's not that but, you're not articulating. You could have just said, I you know I don't have the time right now, and maybe another time. Because so was, many people have told me that. And I'm like, okay, no problem. And and you're probably right. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing more I could say and do other than the fact that those are my extenuating. They're, they're not excuses. They're actually what was they're, going on at the time. Right. I was, I was again, like it was an arduous procedure. I still had to manage everything else. I was traveling a lot. I was going back and forth to California every single week. I was probably in an airplane when I texted you back. And I was probably tired and cranky, which we've all been. So at the end of the day, I just don't think that um, I, I just don't think that you should form your opinion on someone of something like that. I mean, well, how about how can. about this then? How about that? How about this? Go ahead. I, I messaged you back a couple of months later and I wrote, uh, dear sir, uh, what I was trying to do was advertise my channel. Um, and I had made a commercial and I was able to put that commercial on RX muscle and desktop bodybuilding. 
And I was reaching out to you to see if I could put it on. And I was going to want to pay you monthly because I was paying desktop and RX muscle monthly to advertise my channel. And I wrote, dear sir, we spoke several months ago about a collaboration. Would you be willing to let me advertise my channel podcast on your channel? If so, how much would it cost? Thank you, John Livia. And you could tell that you read it and that was ignored. And the next time you messaged me was last week after the yep. video came out. I probably read it and yeah. I closed it before I could answer it. And I didn't answer it. Yeah. And that's it. That's the answer. And a lot of people don't even respond to DMs. I respond to every single DM, which becomes arduous. And I do, I do miss things. So well, I, I mean, I'd rather that. you not respond if you responded like that. I mean, seriously. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, at, at the end of the day, my, my focus is to give the best customer service to customers. And obviously you are a potential customer. So, you know, sometimes we can't all be perfect. And I apologize if that was, you know, rubbed you don't, the wrong don't way. Say but that, that, don't, don't do the, uh, I'm, I'm sorry if you take it that way. Don't do that. No, I, that's no, not I, my, that's I, not I, my I, wife says to me. <laughs> no, I'm, but, but I'm not your wife. I'm, I'm telling know. you, you took it that way. Cause maybe I said it in a way that could have been taken that way. And you, that's, you that's on me. Yeah. Yeah, you, okay. Well, you got to understand. I don't know you. This is my only interaction with you. So of I course, of and course, that's if, here if, right um, now. if, if revert, yeah, three late, three years later after the video came out. <clears throat> well, I mean, right? the vi the video came out. That's fine. Someone pointed me to it. Yeah. Okay, and I'm like, cool. I'm like, well, let's talk it out. Yeah. So again, if I was, if I thought I was some crazy big shot or whatever, I wouldn't be here right now. So here's me, in a situation where I'm like, oh, okay, I could have handled that situation better. Okay, I'll give you that. Um. Your history with Dave Palumbo, is it real? I have history. So, so I don't no really have history. history with Dave Palumbo. So there was no, actually I mean, no No, we've beef. met each other. We've been in the industry. And honestly, the whole situation wasn't about him. It was about Armin photoshopping his pics. And I understand that he's taken up for his homie. But at the end of the day, he, he called me names first. So I'm like, well, I'm going to go in. And that's pretty much that. Yeah. I mean, did you know man, Armand's situation, though? Do you know Armand's situation? You didn't know Armand's situation. I, I, don't, I don't watch podcasts and I, I don't mean that because you, you, you just... and, and you know and you probably pick the wrong guy and not because he has a lot of issues going on in his private life so so if you have private issues you're allowed to deceive people to buy your coaching is that what we're getting at no 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 first okay, of all that's what for, he was doing no, 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 did you no. see gooby 2's video i did not see gooby 2's video but i did see his instagram and i don't so see that was pictures those... as being deceiving at all i see those he pictures uses as... those pictures to sell coaching Oh, really? It's literally on his coaching advertising. And that's the reason that's the reason I think everybody should call him out. And I'm not no, the only one who I, did. I, not, well, okay. I'll, I'm going to take the other side. The other side is um, he thought it was a cool picture that this photographer put and put it on his Instagram because his picture right next to it is him as regular. It's not like, it wasn't like not shreds years ago. Uh, uh, what? It, it's worse than shreds. At least shreds looked like that. Like those guys, no, were, that's those why, were that's dudes. why I'm, that's why I'm saying that in, in this case, it was just a cool photo. You clearly see that it's like, it's almost like, you know, cartoonish. And, yeah, and then if I wanted to fool he, somebody, I wouldn't put my real picture right next to a fake picture. When, when you put a and picture. And to be honest with you, if, if, if somebody sent me a picture like that, or I've had a photographer, I would put it up too. I'd be like, that's cool. But if you had that picture, you'd be like, cool. What my photographer did with this picture, he just put veins. And then he used it in his advertising for coaching. Again, I could, I can't screen share on this, but I mean, if I could screen share, I could play you Goob U2's video where he shows you how he's selling products and services with it. So my question is, why isn't everybody going after him and everybody else and their mothers who looked over this Instagram and this dece deception? That was all. I mean, and I've done that to so many people. I've done that to people who fake it. And that's, that's called policing your industry. That's called policing yourself. And I, I when, before I do that, I don't do a background check and find out if somebody has addiction problems or whatever. If you're deceiving people, I mean, that's like that's like pleading insanity when you kill somebody. Of course, your, you're a little bit insane. Your perception of him deceiving people is 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 not. I did not look at those pictures and so, think so, he was deceiving people. So I honestly put, didn't. I, I thought it was so just that, a cool picture that he put up. That picture when used in coaching context is like, look at my transformation. Look how I look higher. Let's me. let's uh, actually, let me share the screen. Let me see if I could do that. Go, go to Goobie too. Share Goobie twos. He did a good job. I don't even know what, I don't even know what Google. It's a guy Goob who goes over people who deceive people in the bodybuilding. 
Oh, all right. No, well, everybody knows the picture. He's got glasses. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, uh, yeah. He's I'm... he's funny. He's a funny guy. I like him. He's he's hilarious. If so you, you want, have... I, I encourage everyone to follow him. He's freaking funny. So you think that um, Dave Palumbo's stomach issue is a disease? Well, it's called one. So when somebody has distended stomach, they call it Palumboism. If you actually search it up, it comes it's right up a, on Healthline. It's, it's just and a, other. It's just it's a, a coin. Like a, it's a coin. Yeah. So his his. So again, I'm. My beef, I did a video. My beef with Palumbo is over. I'm not. The thing is, we've already said everything we could about each other before mm -hmm. getting into family stuff. That's what's next. I've been down this road before. No, so, you don't. You don't do family. I won't. I no, exactly. But but we have nothing else to say. It's just like we'd be making shit up. Everything's been said. There's nothing else to say. Like we all said what we needed to say. So there's no reason to rehash that. And I'll sit down. So you don't want me to. You want me to bring it up? You're telling me I shouldn't bring it up. <laughs> you can bring up whatever you'd like. It's your show, man. I'm just here. I'm just here. But yeah. I mean, I'm just telling, I have nothing really to say other than the fact that the, you know, do I think he has, I think that there's a, a, it's not uh, a, it's not a disease. He had a distended stomach a, from eating and growth hormone and trying to be 320 a, pounds. It's if you disorder. look at him, if, if you look at him now, is he's like, he's, he doesn't have any stomach. Ha, now. Have you Googled Palumboism? Yeah. I, it's, it's just a, it's just a it's, name. It's referenced, that they give it. in, it's referenced in medical journals. Like it's just, it is what it is. Like Come that's on, what I was getting one, at. That's, that's, it's, it's, it's not a medical condition. It, it's not it, a medical it's, it's, it's a it's, coin you, term. Somebody, it's not a medical condition. It's not a medical condition. No. And I use that in my diss track. Yes. Because what else are you going to say? It's a, it's a, it's a better word than saying, Oh, it was in Healthline. It was on all these different you know, journals where I think there was one study I found where they said distended stomach, AKA plumboism. Like I could find, I'm not, gonna, but anyway, so when I, again, I didn't make up the term and that was just me kind of getting at him because he's calling me out, calling me gay, which is fine. I'm not gay, but if you think I'm gay, that's, Oh, good. that's because me. you were, you were talking about I'm on cock. That's why. Because he made his penis bigger. <laughs> Well, the photographer that did it made his penis bigger, but and and, so, so and, like, and he made the whole everything bigger. So yeah, I yeah. guess if I I'm gonna hire that photographer, by the way, um, that guy did a great job. But no, it's at the end of the day, it wasn't me obsessing over someone's penis. It was me just showing how absurd the Photoshop was, and the exactly, fact that a lot of which people, is why I don't think a it lot was of deceptive. People, you, people buy into it though. You got to understand your customer base isn't that savvy. Like, dude, I bet you the the football moms on our team. So what do you would explain be like, that? Hold oh on, my God, Wait, look how good that guy. Ex was. Explain that. What do you what do you mean the customer base isn't that savvy? A lot of people who search the internet, they're not, it's like if I go to the store to buy a computer. So his, his, his customer computer. his customer base are uh, the health and fitness bodybuilding. No, his teammate. customer base is whoever Instagram serves the image up to. So let me put it. Let me let me just use an example. So obviously, I mean, come on, let's not play around here. His, so customer, ba that, his customer base of uh, bodybuilders and fitness people and people so, don't want to so get So you're telling shape. me that there is not one person on Instagram who would believe, who, who would think that that's a real picture? No, I, of course, there are stupid people. So that's not his but, base, but you got to understand when you get in the Instagram algorithm with his followers, which he's going to get into, people are going to see that. They're going to think that's really him. But is that his fault? That that's that's him. I yes, mean, if I put if I have because a if I have a, if I have a picture that I put up because I like it because some photographer did it and I and I it actually was a compliment to me and I put it up on Instagram. Say it was Photoshop. You would not say it was enhanced. I, I would. But here's the thing: he did. It doesn't. You don't have to. You could put up any picture you want. You don't you have can, to say it's Photoshop. If Anybody with a half a brain could see that picture and see that it was fucking you're Photoshop or of, AI. You're giving a lot of credit to people who don't understand that there's But why not? Do you really think people are that stupid? Maybe there's a handful of people that believe it. But I mean, I, I don't I, think I've I don't believe been, that the general public are that stupid that you look at a cartoonish picture and go, oh, that's him. And then the picture right next to him is him. Real, the I've real been, him. So I started my career at Weirder Publications in the magazines. Let me tell you, people believe it. A lot of people, more people than you would ever understand. You ever wonder why you look at a lid of a McDonald's coffee? It says coffee is hot. You got to understand, like people just don't get things. Uh, some people, not everybody, not most people. So you have to kind of explain things or be uh, honest about, and upfront. So when you looked at it, you you thought he was intentionally being deceptive. I thought it was, so for example, you could use a filter that makes your skin a little better, might make the lighting a little better, and that's cool. When you actually no, that's more deceptive. That's in. more deceptive. You think so? Absolutely, because the minor stuff yeah. that you do, uh, the little you, you're expecting people not to notice. 
In this picture, you could clearly tell. You could clearly tell, but someone who's not an enthusiast might not be able to clearly tell. So you, you felt it necessary to call him out on that? Absolutely. But I don't it was know why. Absurd. Why? It, that's that, because exactly. It, all right. We're, we're, not gonna we're not going to agree. We're not going to. We're not going to agree. No, it doesn't need to be police. It, it does absolutely. And who made you police of photoshopping? I mean, you don't. Nobody, have... No, no, but look, it's it's a public forum. That's what YouTube. That's what Twitter. That's what Facebook is, where people can call. Like you look at politics right now, they fact check all the time. You go to Twitter. There's a Twitter fact check. They actually have that built in, where they have a team of people go in and make sure. Oh, this is kind of bullshit. Let me figure. I'm listening. It out. Keep going. Keep going. I'm sorry. Keep that's going. That's why. I'm that's listening. why the. That's why the internet is so great because it allows us to see what's really going on other than what the ma main mainstream media presents to us. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Sorry. I'm just trying I'm to look good. it up. Uh, give me one second. Sorry. Uh... All right. Here we go. Sorry. Come on. This Are you in New York? Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Love Jersey. Uh, I'll be up there for the uh, natural body event on September 21st. If you happen to come oh, up yeah. there. Yeah. I could break some bread. Uh, we'll see. Uh, sorry. Give me one second. All right. Can you see this or no? I can see it just fine. Okay, cool. Um, so this is the picture we're talking about, right? Yes. Okay. I look at this picture and I see completely cartoonish. You could tell this is completely fake and overdone right and then right next to it is you know this picture of him in the bathroom and obviously that's real and you could tell it's not the same and even when you go to this one right you go to this one same thing completely over the top he, he edited that though that's not what the caption said he edited that it just said got veins before so so what do you, you have then, to understand then, like then people him, don't always you know, and People don't always out. go on the profile. They see the picture. This guy's great. They go to the site. They buy the coaching. Uh, okay. Um, that's why. That's why it I don't was. Know. We're gonna. That, we're gonna agree to disagree on that one because that's that's um, fine. And that's 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 how this works. We can agree yeah. to disagree. Now, uh, what the hell else was I gonna ask you? I wasn't really. Um. Oh, okay. Explain to me what you said, because you messaged me last night about the algorithm and how, because uh, uh, when you look at your your views. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? And and you look, yeah. And I just don't, I don't think, I don't think your, view, your subscribers are fake. Some people are saying they're fake. I don't think your subscribers are fake. No, they're, they're are fake. not fake. They're just no. dead. I think, they, yeah, they I, th I think, I think it's very old, the subscribers, you know, and I think your views are going down uh, because your, the, the subscribers are old. And I mean, let's let's if we could, if we could be real, you are obviously a lot more re relevant from 2011 to like maybe 2020, and your relevance kind of fell off. Maybe in fitness, yeah. I mean, I've I've grown up, I've educated, I've graduated different platforms. I'm really big on X now. I've gotten more into the political world. I have a nightly political um, show called Evening Rants with Alan Roberts. So I've gotten more into that realm, um, kind of like the Hodge twins, but not. So is, not you so think it, you you're saying that it was intentional? No, what I'm saying is that, so for people are like, oh, I used to watch, so I'll get this all the time. Like, hey man, I used to watch you on YouTube all the time. I'm like, why don't you anymore? I don't go on YouTube. So you got to realize like those subscribers started in 2009 and 2011 really, we really hit big, right? That's, we started really growing. And then in, um, in that time, say people start watching it 18, 20 years old, they have kids, they get a job. They're not caring about, YouTube fitness. They're moving on and they're doing other things. You know who else did the same thing? Christian Guzman. Christian Guzman had 2 million followers. Started in, he was getting like 10,000, 12,000 views per video. Starts a new channel. He's back up to 69,000, 70,000, 80,000 views per video, if not more. So that's why I started my new channel at Lowbliner TV because it'll be explained. You could talk to John Bravo about it. He knows a lot about how that works. And so that's kind of how it works where YouTube's algorithm sees that most of your subscribers aren't clicking on your videos. So they're not sharing it to other people. 
Right. And yeah, I mean, I I, again, and my motivation, I'll say, you know, I, I met, you know, Guzman's have been open about why he did it and how the algorithm works. So no, I've never bought YouTube subscribers. I've just been on so long that a lot of people just don't even lift anymore. You know, they were in college. They want to a lot jacked. of people don't. Oh, okay. Come on, Mark. Can you play? A lot of people. So you're saying all of no, my old subscribers uh, are still gym enthusiasts. No, that's not what I'm saying, but you can't say 412,000 subscribers just don't lift anymore. And that's no, why no, you're not no. getting the views Me, anymore. It's just not no, no, interesting. Now, 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 you're mean, just, now you're just trying to create, create some, create some, some friction. Cause that's you not said it, not me. No, I didn't say it. Now okay, you're taking what it out of context. Right, okay. So, so hold explain. on. You said, let's not talk over each other. You've been talking over me this whole time. So I thought you didn't take it. Offended. was your, it, it was your rule. <laughs> so, but it's my channel. I can do what I want. So I get it. But go I ahead. would like a little bit of respect and courtesy for coming on here. Is that too much to ask? All right, Mark. And I'm trying, and you're calling me out for everything. So what? What'd you expect? Did you expect, hi, Mark, let's have fun after you shit on me? I did not shit on you. You didn't shit on me? No. Okay. Okay, so, listen. I've already offered, you want to do this in person? Again, I'm at Natural Body. We could we could talk, we shake hands, get food. Don't care. We grab a workout. It doesn't bother me. Okay, at the end of the day, what I'm saying is people who watched YouTube seven years ago might not be watching YouTube today. Some of them might not be even involved in fitness. They move on. A lot of people who stopped me in public who used to watch me, they're like, yeah, I got to get back in the gym. So that's the context of what I said. Okay. So you don't think maybe they've moved on to other YouTube channels, newer ones, because, you know, uh, Nick Strength and Power's views didn't go down. Uh, RX Muscle's views didn't go down. They came in much later in the game. You're looking at my main growth came between 2011 and 2016. Okay. So Again, it's the same, it's same thing. Era. I get it. I get it. Okay. But, so I'm not popular. Well, that's that's well, fine. Yeah. That's I'm what I'm trying you, to get. That's so, what, so, so what happened to Christian? You're fighting me on what, that. You're fighting no, what me happened on to, that. What happened to Christian Guzman? I have no idea. We're talking about you. I'm, I don't know about Christian Guzman. No, I'm t no, I'm telling you a direct parallel comparison. Again, okay. like maybe I'm unpopular. I don't care. Okay, like, but that's that's, that's what I'm fine. trying to. All I'm saying but, is, I don't think you're as relevant now as you were ten years ago on YouTube. It, uh, wait for in the fitness industry. Sh that's sure. it. Sure, that works for me. That's it. Fine. Okay, I want to put this whole thing behind us, and I have a I have a plan. I'm down for plans. Okay, I have a plan. I I am not an unreasonable man, and thank goodness my needs are, are small. So I propose this. How about I am a growing channel. I'm probably the future. How about I don't I don't have any sponsors. How about you put your products on my channel and you pay me to advertise your products for you? And then I'll we have go to look into the CPMs and, and everything. And, and we go and we go from mortal enemies to business partners. Well, we'll look into the numbers involved and we could do that off, off screen. You're stingy, man. Stingy motherfucker. I'm a businessman. <laughs> You're stingy as motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right. not stingy. So, so wait, wait, if, hold on. Someone, if you had a business, someone's I'm like breaking your balls, I'm busting your balls, pay me money to advertise. I'm, I'm be busting like, your balls. It's how, a joke. How much money? What's the CPM? All those I, cool things. I get it. It's a joke. I was kidding. I was hoping to, that you would laugh a little. Oh man, I thought you were totally serious. No, <laughs> I thought I thought you were serious. Huh? All right, don't worry. About it. I'm just fucking with you. All right, Mark. I, listen, I like the it, proposition. Yeah. Well, listen, you could you could look into it. I don't care. But listen, I, I'm a, my body my channel started a year and a half ago. I don't have two thousand subscribers, so it's not going to be worth it for you. So I was just breaking balls. But all right. Well, listen, man. I I would love to have you on. You're great. I mean, look, man. I'm not, I'm not that guy. Like I'll talk to anybody again. It just wasn't the time I didn't address it properly. And I've already said, it's my bad. Yeah. We can't see, do everything perfect. I understand. And, and you got to understand that you see during that time, right? I think I said this in my life feed during that time. I asked Dave to come on. Dave came on. No problem. I asked Sergio Oliva Jr. To come on. Not a problem. Samson Dowda. No problem. Um, you, and I've asked people to come on and they gave me like, you know, I can't, I'm busy, or they just ignored me like Fuad. I can't, I'm busy because I asked him to come on because during that time he was like at his height. 
Um, and you were the only guy that was disrespectful. So that's the only experience I have with you, right? So, uh, yeah, and, the, I, and I understand. And a, yeah, of course. And people might say it's petty. And because there was, there was two reasons why I kept those emails. Like I said, one for fuel, because I knew I wasn't going to quit. I was already 40 years old. No, 44 years old when I started. I wasn't like a kid. I knew what I, what I was getting into. So okay. I knew I was going to persi be persistent and consistent and, and keep growing. I'm not going to quit. It's gonna keep, I'm just going to keep going. So I used that as fuel. Like in my head, I'm going, okay, this guy, you know, just shit on me. All right, watch. I'll show him, right? That kind of thing. And the other reason was I sooner or later – being as confident as I was in doing this whole YouTube thing, I knew sooner or later this was going to happen. It was inevitable. It was because it's a small world. It's, the bodybuilding world is not big, right? It's small. Yeah. So it was inevitable. So that's why I kept on to those uh, those uh, DMs. And I respect it, that. It worked because you're here now, right? Well, I mean, we're, we're talking. We're mad. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. what it should. But this is how it should be. Oh, you absolutely. You talk yeah, about definitely. it. I think that's good. And I appreciate you having me on because this is great. All right. No problem, man. All right, brother. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to the gym. Thank you for coming on. And I don't know. We'll be in touch. All the best, brother. God bless. All right. Later. Take it easy.